Hi and welcome back. So in the previous video we were talking about uh, ambiguous grammar. So uh, we have a grammar written um, on the screen and we also uh, have a string which can have multiple pass trees according to the grammar and uh, which means that the grammar is ambiguous. So uh, in this video we'll talk about what are the different disambiguation techniques that can be used. So the first way that we can uh, the first thing we can do is we could uh, disambiguate this grammar by writing it in a different way. So for example, uh, consider uh, the grammar which um, is equivalent to the one above, um, but I've introduced another non-terminal uh, to disambiguate this grammar. So uh, I have e can go to e prime plus e or e prime. And now e prime uh, can go to um, id times e prime or uh, id. So uh, this time what's going to happen is uh, consider the string that we have. Um, let me just do it here. So consider the string that we have which is id plus id times uh, id. I am going to start with e and uh, this time uh, I don't have an option of uh, using the multiplication first. Uh, the on only option I have is to use uh, this one right here to introduce the plus. So what I do is I write uh, um, e goes to e prime plus e followed by uh, the left e prime just going to id and the right e, right e will go to e prime followed by uh, the e prime going to id times e prime and finally the rightmost e prime will uh, go to an identifier. So uh, this is the pass tree that we have constructed and uh, this is the only pass tree that we are going to be able to convert from uh, the grammar written in blue uh, which means that we have actually disambiguated the grammar and um, what this has also helped us do is uh, establish the uh, precedence of multiplication over addition uh, in the past tree that I have on the right. Uh, multiplication being farther away from the root is always going to be uh, performed first and addition is going to be performed later and uh, no matter what kind of uh, combination of uh, addition and multiplication I have, uh, if I use the grammar in blue then that's going to assert the uh, precedence of multiplication over addition. So uh, this is the first uh, ambiguation technique which is uh, to just uh, disambiguate the grammar itself. Uh, this is not actually very popular because uh, the disambiguation here needs to be done by hand. So uh, we actually need to write the grammar in a way that uh, it is not um, ambiguous anymore and uh, that is something that compl uh, complicates the grammar and uh, what we would like to do is we would like to just uh, use uh, the natural ambiguous grammar and uh, find some other ways to disambiguate. So uh, the other ways to disambiguate is to use precedence and uh, associativity rules. So the way we use um, associativity and precedence rules uh, is something as follows. Suppose I have the string id plus id plus id. Uh, I could have two different pass trees for this. The first one could be uh, something like this, um, which is e goes to e plus e, followed by the leftmost e going to uh, e plus e, and then changing all of them to identifiers. So uh, this is one possible pass tree that I can have. The second one that I can have is uh, instead of changing the leftmost e, I uh, use the rightmost e and uh, write the pass tree as follows. And uh, both of these are correct. Uh, if I just have the grammar which says that um, e can go to e plus e or an identifier. So uh, what we do is we uh, say that plus is left associative and uh, one of the ways to do it in uh, a tool called uh, bison which is used for parsing is to uh, write something like this. Um, we just specify that uh, the plus operator is left associative. 
What that means is that uh, it ensures that uh, the left pass tree is the one that's used. So uh, it makes this, uh, it cancels out the right pass tree. So uh, that is one of the things that we can do. And that's, uh, that's the thing that's used more popularly rather than uh, disambiguating uh, grammars directly. And uh, similarly, the, there are also ways to specify that multiplication has precedence over addition, uh, which would also take care of uh, the example that we saw in the previous, uh, previous page. So uh, that's about disambiguating grammars. In the next video, we'll uh, talk about some of the error handling techniques that are used uh, during parsing. So stay tuned for it. In the meanwhile, uh, do give the video a like and share it with your friends. See you next time.